<laughs> it feels so weird to <laughs> to do something here in front of the camera. Oh, this is too much information. <laughs> They are just like, where did you get your boobs done? And I'm just like, what? Hey guys, I'm back. Um, if you're new here, my name is Shia. I am a transgender entrepreneur living in China. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about something that um, a lot of people have been asking me about, which is my boobs. <laughs> First of all, can we just appreciate this short hair? Uh, cutting myself. I've been so in love with like short hair, uh, especially like this year. I really just feel like I'm I'm so done with like long hair. I used to have like long black curly hair, like the, that 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 typical Asian beauty that guys are so crazy about. And I was mainly saving my saving my hair for men. Finally, this year I decided to cut it short, and it was like growing out a little bit um, in my recent videos. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to. Uh, keep it or cut it but then this morning I was like you know what screw it I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it and then I did and then here we go I love it it's it's absolutely it's absolutely stunning but back to the video so a very um, short intro about me I first came out as transgender female back in 2016 which is about five years ago and I spent my first six months um, like to, to mentally prepare for my uh, journey to see how my friends would react to you know the situation and then like six months after which was about December 3rd um, I officially started taking my first ever hormone pill and it's been almost five years now I have to say it's been a long long journey and um, there's been ups and downs and a lot of tears, um, a lot of stress, um, a lot of realizations of how the world is, how um, society is, how your friends are. Because once you start your tradition, definitely like you're gonna have some friends coming and going. That's for sure. Um, and yeah, it's been a really, really long journey, and I'm so glad. So I feel so lucky to be able to talk about this today um sitting here um it's i'm just so proud of myself i'm just so proud of myself <laughs> i i have made a video before i think it was like a year or two years ago about uh some hormone uh, some hrt updates um if you guys want to watch that i will link it here yeah here I'm, I'm, I'm starting to, to get used to this youtuber life now so like just <laughs> bear with me so I have to say it's been uh, a lot of, of changes on my body from these um, past so I have to say it's been a lot of you done my neighbor thank you um, so I have to say it's been a lot of um, changes on my body from this past five years and a lot of them are positive and today I want to talk about my boobies uh, because I feel like that's the most obvious uh, change on my body and I know that that's, um, that, that, that's something uh, a lot of trans women care about the most. Um, so yeah, today I'm just going to share my experience and, um, and, and and maybe there's something you can get out of this video. I know a lot of you um, have subscribed to my channel in the first place for this kind of transgender content and um, today I'm just going to fulfill your day by giving you the juice. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's, let's, let's start talking about my, 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 my boobies. <laughs> So when I first started my transition, I was taking three hormones. Uh, the first one is estrogen. Uh, this one help. This one is basically uh, a natural um, hormone that uh, a cisgender female body would naturally produce, and with that, um, it will actually help your body to store fat in actual in actual locations you want them to be, which can help you to create that hourglass body shape and um, that's what estrogen does and um, this is the first one to take and the other two one is for helping you to grow your boost the other, and the third one is to um, helping you to block your your male hormone 
Um, so yeah, this is the first three that I took when I first started my tradition. I I'm not going to tell you how much I take because I strongly believe that for information like this, you should really go to um, your doctor because everyone has a different body and uh, everyone reacts to hormones, um, medicine in different ways and I really don't want to um, give you guys false information. Um, I don't want I don't want you guys to come back and be like, hey, I'm I've been taking the same exact dosage, but there's nothing happening to my body. So you're absolutely lying. You know, I, I don't I don't want any of that. So um, I just want to make it clear that this video is by no means to give you um, any medical advice. You know, like not, no, this is not what this video is for. Um, if you're seeking for medical help um, or information definitely um, reach out to a professional doctor um, to get uh, all the things you need. So as I said, uh, I've been on HRT for about five years now. If you guys don't know what HRT is, HRT is Hormone Replacement Therapy. So basically for male to female transgender people, HRT helps your body to reach to a hormone level of a cisgender women's body. I, I have to say, um, personally, I reacted to um, the hormone pills I was I was taking um, in the very ideal way my boobs it, they were definitely experiencing a sense of well, it's been five years it's really hard to describe um, that feeling but it's kind of like like they felt itchy they felt very very itchy at the beginning of my transition like I would say the first three months um, I felt very 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 itchy because they were flat before and um, now they're like trying to grow and um, because of the growth you're having it's kind of expanding inside and it's trying to you know stretch your skin and muscle and everything so like um, I'm pretty sure any situation women out there would relate to this feeling like it's just it's, it's really it's just itchy it's just very itchy and then it also comes with um, a sense of pain uh, because like I said it's like stretching your muscle or uh, stretching your skin so of course you're gonna feel a sense of pain um, especially for the first I would say six months um, that pain is not going away so it, you, you've got to be really careful um, in your early transition um, once you start um, taking the pills you're gonna more or less feel something uh, right here I would say the second month of taking the medicine um, I could I could see the shape coming out already it was like a little mountain thing like this like a little little mountain thing like not, not this big but like it was like kind of like just just you know like just just the kind of wants to come out but it's not coming out yet that kind of that kind of you know um, it's so weird to talk about my boobs like this but um yeah um, so so it was definitely coming out a little bit um, on the second month and on, on the third month it was like getting obvious like I could see it I could feel it and um, it was that was the time when I actually felt like oh my god like now I could actually feel the pain like before it was more like itchy but now it's like you know the pain is taking over and I had to be really careful with everything I do like I cannot jump I cannot like you know do those like very extreme um, sports like for example if I jumped like like here here like it, it would it would it would hurt like hell it would hurt like hell um because like i don't know it was just growing like my body really really reacted to the medicine so well this pain though um it it lasts from um the third month to the the 15th month at least i would say at least this is my personal experience um and it's a good thing actually because when you are experiencing pain and this kind of like itchy feeling it really means that it they are really growing and because that they're growing fast and that's why you you would feel that it feels so weird to to do something here in front of the camera within those months you, you're definitely gonna feel a lot right here and you don't want to touch it even when you're taking a shower so yeah that was my experience of the the first um, I would say one one year and a half like that that feeling was just not going off like it was just it was just there it was just there you know and and my boobs were just like very very sensitive um, I think it was until like I hit like this two year mark 
um, things um, started to like slow down. Um, the pain was kind of going away and that kind of itchy feeling um, was no longer there. It, like it, sometimes it would still feel it because I feel like I'm giving too much personal information. Sometimes when you have sex, um, um, the next few days, um, you you may feel like that that itchy feeling or that pain may come back. I don't know um, what our brains um, are doing, but. But um, that's what happened to me whenever I had sex the next few days, um, that feeling would come back. And I, I knew that that was a sign of um, my boobs um, growing. So, so yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely one, one of those people um, who believe that um, sex and massage um, would, would help your boobs grow. Oh, this is too much information. <laughs> Um, again, um, I have to say everybody experiences um, differently, so it, it's pretty much in your DNA to be honest. It runs in your family. Um, so if you are wondering if your boobs um, can grow as much as I did, um, you need to just really look back to your mother and grandmother and your sisters, you know, like, it sounds creepy, but you need to look at their bodies and um, then you, you will have more or less like an image of how much your boobs can develop. I, I, I feel like my growth um, sort of, I wouldn't say completely stopped, but I, I, I can definitely say it was really, really slowing down um, from the third year. Um, like it just wasn't so much feeling here anymore. Um, but but it w I was totally fine with it at the time because at the time I already had like a like a decent Chinese B cup which is about like a small Western B cup. Um, yeah, I was like very very happy with um, like what I had. Like I, I I never wanted to have like huge 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 boobies. I just really really just want to have a nice pair of like like natural natural boobies, you know. So I was really happy at the time already. So like I wasn't really seeking for um, like any plastic surgery or something like that. So that's that's that one question that people ask me all the time. Like people always ask me, where did you get? They don't even bother asking you like, have you gotten surgery? They are just like, where did you get your boobs done? And I'm just like, what? I feel happy that people assumed. Um, that I had boob jobs because th that that means they, they, they look decent, right? But on the other hand, it it upsets me that people just assume like everything is fake. Like it, I don't know how to explain these feelings, but um, if you know, you know. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I had gone through um, from the first month to the second month to the first six months, and then the first year and the second year. And from the second year to now, um, right now where I'm at, um, I have a Chinese C cup, which is a decent uh, Western B cup, um, and I'm happy with where I am right now. And I'm not considering having like any surgery in the future. I'm not a fan of plastic surgeries anyway, so um, I think I'm just gonna live with what I have. And the reason why I'm like dressing like this is, um, well, I mean, it doesn't help if I was just like talking and talking without showing you guys anything. So, um, I, I'm wearing a bra now and I will show you guys my site profile. So you guys will have an idea of how my boobs, um, look like right now. Um, so... Why am I doing this in front of the camera? As you can see, um, it's very natural. Like, it's very natural. There's no silicone in it. Everything is natural. Doing this is so weird in front of the camera. I'll never get over this. Um, yeah. So, so yeah. This is this is where I am uh, today. Uh, after five years of HRT. I hope this video helps you to have 
a better understanding of what you could expect um, for yourself if you start um, this transition journey and uh, again like I said um, not everybody would react to hormones um, in the way I did so um, you should really consider going to a doctor and seek for professional advice and medicine and um, if you want more videos like this then definitely leave a like um, and comment down below and let me know and I will see you guys next week bye bye